Well, I appreciate the opportunity you're giving me here, Mr. Cromwell, as the single largest, largest shareholder in the Tedlar paper to speak. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're not here to indulge in fantasy, but in political and economic reality. America. America has become a second-rate power. Its trade deficit and its fiscal deficit are at a nightmare proportions. Now, in the days of the free market, when our country was a top industrial power, there was accountability to the stockholder. The Carnegies, the Mellons, the men that built this great industrial empire made sure of it because it was their money at stake. Today, management has no stake in the company. Altogether, these men are sitting up here, own less than 3% of the company. And where does Mr. Cromwell put his million dollar salary? Not in Tedlar stock. He owns less than 1%. You own the company. That's right, you, the stockholder. And you're all being royally screwed over by these these bureaucrats with their steak lunches, their hunting and fishing trips, their corporate jets, and golden parachutes. Tedlar Paper, Mr. Cromwell, Tedlar Paper has 33 different vice presidents, each earning 200000 a year. Now, I've spent the last two months analyzing what all these guys do. I still can't figure it out. One thing I do know is that our paper company lost $110 million last year. I'll bet that half of that was spent in all the paperwork going back and forth between all these vice presidents. The new law of evolution in corporate America seems to be survival of the unfittest. Well, in my book, you either do it right or you get eliminated. In the last seven deals I've been involved with, there were two and a half million stockholders who have made a pre-tax profit of $12 billion. Thank you. I'm not a destroyer of companies. I'm a liberator of them. The point is, ladies and gentlemen, that greed, for lack of a better word, is good. Greed is right. Greed works. Greed clarifies, cuts through, and captures the essence of the evolutionary spirit. Greed in all of its forms, greed for life, for money, for love, knowledge, has marked the upward surge of mankind. And greed, you mark my words, will not only save Tedlar paper, but that other mal malfunctioning corporation called the USA. Thank you very much.